I really wish I'd heeded the advice of my parents and had brushed and flossed my teeth twice daily and after lunch. The reality is that I haven't brushed my teeth in 20 years. I developed a fear ever since my gums started bleeding while brushing my teeth when I was young. I didn't know at that tender age that that was because of inadequate plaque removal. I've got a bachelor's degree now in journalism, and I'm the proud owner of a baritone voice. While keeping these positive factors in mind, I applied to several television studios for the post of a news anchor. Unfortunately, all of them rejected me during the audition process. They told me that it was impossible for me to become a news anchor because of the terrible condition of my teeth. I was afraid to hang around with my friends because of the foul odor coming out of my mouth. I was not aware that particles of food left in the mouth are the breeding grounds of sulfur compounds causing bacteria. I would not have had to suffer this humility had I brushed my teeth on a regular basis. Like most people, I fear going to the dentist. However, I had no options left. After a single glance, Dr. Johnson, a dental specialist, asked me how many years had I not brushed my teeth. I told him that it had been probably more than 20 years when I last brushed. The specialist replied that I had no option left apart from opting for massive dental repair work. According to him, the first step would be to clean my teeth to remove the buildup of plaque, harden the food debris and tartar during all of those years. However, the sight of my teeth was not too impressive after this procedure. I had a fear in my mind that he might have to extract all of my teeth and replace them with false ones. Well, I heaved a sigh of relief when Mr. Johnson informed me that although the bones and roots of my mouth were healthy, he would have to remove at least a dozen teeth because of decay. However, he informed me that he would not go ahead with the procedure until I made a few promises. He told me I would have to change my lifestyle. I would have to cut down on aerated drinks or stop drinking them altogether. He also stated that I'd have to cut down on sweets, begin brushing my teeth, and start trying to floss them after he'd completed the process. I had no options left apart from agreeing to what he said. Once I promised to change my lifestyle as recommended, the dentist extracted 12 of my teeth and replaced them with implants. I had to visit him several times to get this whole process completed, and it was not practically feasible to extract so many teeth in a single setting. Although I did not feel any pain during the extraction process since the dentist had injected anesthesia, I did feel afraid every time I had to visit him. The entire process of removing a dozen teeth and cleaning the others to remove all the buildup of hardened food deposits, plaque, and tartar, it took nearly five months. Although the dentist has helped me to replace my damaged teeth with implants in such a manner that nobody could distinguish between them and my original teeth, and he also helped me regain my pearly white smile and my self-confidence, it's still a lesson for those who do not indulge in oral hygiene. Mr. Johnson told me that he'd seen many mouths that were as bad or even worse than that of mine. He also stated that it takes a combination of several factors for teeth to get bad. They include poor oral hygiene, as well as poor diet, as well as aggressive bacteria. He told me that I shouldn't have waited so long for treatment. When skilled dentists and advanced technology can help restore your damaged teeth, I'd recommend others not let things get out of control by brushing their teeth twice daily and visiting the dentist at least once every six months. Oh, by the way, I have finally landed a job of news anchor in one of the leading TV news channels. To watch more animated story videos like this, hit that subscribe button and tell us in the comments section what you thought about this story.